right, this is the video for chapter 3.3. Start out new, English, standard answers, origin, sketch. I'm, I'm going to look here for the largest diameter, and I see a radius of 2.5. I'm going to choose my origin, and I know i got to type in 5 because i got to double that R. I'm going to right away finish sketch, and it tells us that the extrusion is 1 inch, and it's already defaulted here at 1 inch, so I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to put another sketch on this surface, and if you look, I'm going to start at the very top, there's a slot that's cut out right here. And I'm just going to grab a rectangle and just pick any spot up here, kind of mimic that shape. And I know that that rectangle is a half inch across. So I'm going to go ahead and set that at 0.5, enter. And let's see, what can I do? I'm going to make... I'm going to go ahead and set the dimension from the center to that bottom line. It tells me that from one at the top to the one at the bottom is three. So I know from the center it's got to be 1.5. And I'm just going to put a dimension on this. I don't really care about that. I'm just going to make it 1.5. All I'm trying to do is just clear this circle right here. All I'm interested in is this part and it's going to cut it out right here. I don't care how tall it is because that will just only cut in the space and that's fine for what we're doing. Okay, I have a half inch here but what I have to be careful, I have to make sure that I got it centered. So I'm going to choose the origin and one of these lines and I got to make that 0.25 and now I have that in position and I'm going to come up here and finish sketch. And I'm going to extrude, and I'm going to cut this all the way through. Hit OK. All right. We don't. There are four of these that we need, but we don't have to do the same thing four times like that. There's a little easier way to do it. So I'm just going to turn this the way with my cube, with my left mouse button. And I'm going to go right here to Circular. I'm going to come down and see how I can highlight the extrusion that I just did. So I'm going to highlight that extrusion. I'm going to come over and get this arrow for my rotation axis and choose the top of that. And it is defaulted to put six on there, but we only need four. So I'm going to choose four, enter. And it automatically cuts those for us. Now, I have one more shape that I'm going to start. It's an L shape here. Then I'm going to create a new sketch. I'm going to come here with the line. I'm just going to drop this in. Drop that in there. And I'll probably hit escape. And it tells me from the bottom of this line to the center is 1.25. So I'm going to dimension from here to there. 1.25 enter and also from here to there 1.25 enter and I'll just trim these off and I'm going to come in here and grab a circle and go from the center out to that point get my trim trim all of this circle off that I don't need I may not even need that, but I'm just going to do it for insurance. I'm going to come in here, turn this where I can see it, finish sketch, go to extrude, go to cut, choose that, hit OK. Now we can do the same thing. We'll go to circular, choose our extrusion, choose the arrow for our rotation axis, choose the outside, Change that 6 to a 4, hit enter. Now, all we have to do is go back to the middle. I'm going to straighten this up. 
put a new sketch. We'll click anywhere out here. It doesn't matter. Go to circle. Find the origin. And I have a two and a quarter large diameter out circle out here. So I'm going to type in 2.5, enter. Okay. Now I'm going to finish sketch. I'm going to turn my cube where I can see it. And that extrusion, it tells us, is 0.75. So I'm going to extrude this. I'm going to extrude it up 0.75, enter. I'm going to go back and get another sketch. Sketch on top of that extrusion. Put another circle in. And that one is 1.25, enter. Finish sketch. Go to extrude. And we want to cut. We want to cut all the way. So we'll say all. Hit OK. And there you have it, chapter 3.3. .3. Refer back to video number two to do your blueprint. Title block, turn that in.